Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Laff here. On this video here, I got a call from this lady, um, no cooling. And I'm just starting to get EC calls now. So um, I was on this job last year. And uh, it's a micro channel condensing unit. And there's a leak on the outside unit. I was there and uh, I called it in, see if it was still in the warranty. It was out of warranty. And I told the lady last year she needed a new unit. And um, I think I had called her back with a quote on replacing the outside unit. Um, and she called me again this year. I didn't realize it was her until I showed up again. But anyway, I put a little bit of gas in it. And I was low on Freon because of the, you know, micro channel leak on the outside. And with a micro channel, they don't hold a lot of refrigerant. So they leak out quick. And, uh, so I charged it up and I'm going to give her a price on changing it. And I'll call it in again. And, um. I just figured I'd post it. Now, the head pressure on this system is, is going to be low. You'll see it's, it, the head pressure is lower than I like to see. But it's reality. Uh, things running on the piston. And I gotta, you got to charge them by superheat. So, um, the superheat, uh, the suction pressure was fine. I was coming back where I needed to be. But the head pressure was lower than I like to see. So, I post the good, bad, and the ugly. This one's kind of ugly. But it's uh, reality. So, it's kind of good for the, the, the new guys to see. And uh, just be aware that, you know, the, the head pressure is lower than it should be. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Nothing special. It's just kind of a quick. Um, now, with a micro channel, they get away from you real easy because uh, there's not a lot of refrigerant. So you, you got to be careful. You don't overcharge them. All right. Have a good day, man. See, it's a micro channel in there. Yeah, it's a micro channel. I was here last year, the thing's got a leak. It's out of warranty. Probably 80 degrees out. R22 standing pressure. Start it up and see what it does. Told her last year she needs a new unit. <clears throat> she said it, she ran it all day yesterday and didn't cool, so we'll see. Also, the guy reduced the three quarter down in this plastic to run it in this line here. So I'm gonna have to drill a new hole and run a three quarter line down the side of the house here. Should be full size now. It looks down. Definitely low on gas. Ain't no doubt about it. Leaka! Embrace the technology. Got this little strap here for my can. Works pretty good actually. That's how much the tank weighed before I brought it out. I know it's 22, I already checked it. It's a 4 ton, 48. Embrace the technology. Now you gotta be careful with a micro channel, it won't take a lot of, a lot of gas to fill them up. But we're definitely low, ain't no doubt about it. I took out my probes.
very well with it. Put a piece of wood on the bed, it's not even hitting. Slap it onto the screen. I didn't want to overfill it with a micro channel, so definitely going to probably move more on it. It's a piston, so that's about what I'm shooting for. Decent suction pressure. The pressure's a little bit low, some cool flow, but that's all I'm going to stay with. They need a new unit, told them that last year. Cool like this. And you can see the oil streaks running down the side, the outside here, on both sides. Oh, oil streak running down the side here too. The voice protect all of it. Two pounds. I like this strap. Really good. I put that on one shoulder, the Vito bag on the other, and I'm good to go. I'm gonna carry this in with my hand, and I'm good to go. Alright, let me get over Bill.